So I make a lot of compost in all sorts of different ways over the year. But now's the time, I think, to make some really great compost. And I want to show you how I'm going to do it. So here's my compost bins. Takes me about a year to get compost from that end to this end. Quite a few turns involved. And at this time of year, I'm starting with this stable bedding. And I like this stuff. You know, there's plenty of uh, horse droppings in it. There's loads of wood in it though, absolutely loads. And wood is a nitrogen depleter when it's worked into the soil, not so much when it's left on top of the soil, but I like my wood really well rotted down. So this is the way I make compost at this time of year. Fill this bin completely with stable bedding. And for each barrel load I put in, I put about four or five handfuls of old compost into this bin. So I've already emptied what was left of that bin into here. It's nicely full up now. This has been turned probably five times now. It won't shrink that much more uh, after that top up. This one though is gonna shrink loads. So you know, by the time it's finished composting, it'll probably be half the size, so half full in that bin. But the way that it's going to work and the way I'm going to get lovely compost at the end of the process is I'm going to put this compost on my beds. Let me just show you this. I'm going to put that on my beds in about a month's time. And you can see that is gorgeous compost and it's full of bacteria, full of fungi, whatever. So what I do is I want to work a little bit of that into here so that this gets started with all the benefit of the, of the microbiota that have been developed in that bin. So when that bin gets emptied, this one gets turned into that, it gets topped up with compost from that bin so that that one is absolutely full that's then the one that I'm going to use in autumn so this bin then gets turned into that bin and that then will just sit there until next spring probably then this bin gets turned into this bin and then it will get turned back and forwards back and forwards back and forwards as I keep filling this bin with new greens and all those new greens will make sure that all of this wood gets really nicely composted. So by the time this bin, what's left of this bin, kind of gets turned into here and left for kind of summer next year, then it will have been turned, I don't know, like five or six times but it will have been refilled with loads and loads of greens. And because I grow a lot of nitrogen loving plants, a compost that's not too woody, not too much carbon, because that carbon and all this wood will have been diluted by all these greens, will have turned, you know, that into this, which is not, not too bad. put some more of that in there but you can see not too bad into what I showed you earlier on so I'm going to top this bin up so that's nicely topped up popped me to monitor in so it's a good idea to keep on top of the temperature and put a bit more of this bacteria rich compost on top so that is nicely layered all the way through the bin the other nice thing about composting at this time of year with stable bedding is that the horses are not out on pasture eating lots of weed seeds so there's a lot less weed seeds in this compost than there would be otherwise you know if you were sta using stable bedding in summer or autumn it's probably full of weed seeds and I am careful when I'm putting the green waste into here not to put green waste full of weed seeds back in again. I don't want those weeds in my compost. So there we go. Last bit. 
get it covered. Covers keep it a bit warmer and stop it getting too wet. Compost leaks, likes to be moist but not dripping wet. So I thought I'd return to this compost bin. It's been a few weeks. It's been up at 65 after the first few days and then up to 75 and now it's down to 60 and so uh, no sorry 50 and so it's a good time now to give it a turn and get it heating up again and hopefully I can get this top surface nice and hot because the middle was certainly hot as you'll probably see in a minute uh, so that's what you like to see it's certainly been hot in there but it's got masses of breaking down still to do and that's why I still like to turn the bins and turn in a lot of greens into these bins because there's a lot of browns still in here I mean that's the thing with stable bedding it's really nutritious but uh, loads of browns so what I find is that this bin which will be full to the brim here I'll probably before it's finished turn a whole another bin of greens into here uh, and eventually that so that what will end up being effectively two bins will compress down to one so if you want a bit more detail on composting pop over to my ebook linked in the description below and go to the basic section scroll down to the bottom and there you'll find the chapter on composting and it's a pretty comprehensive chapter it goes through all the different types of compost bins how to make compost all the tips and tricks and loads and loads of details about my specific composting system and why I like it so much. Lots of stuff on making weed-free compost, for example, as well, and the benefits of hot composting versus cold composting, and loads more videos, not just from me. So take a look at that if you're interested. So hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Lawnmower Channel, and I'll see you soon.